Hey guys, um, today I'm going to be showing you how to install Mac OS X Snow Leopard on the Dell Latitude D620. Um, so you're going to need two things. You're going to need a retail version of OS X Snow Leopard. So now, I'm sorry you can't see that right now, I'm kind of dark, but that's because I have to have the exposure down for the computer. You're going to need the... Hold on, let me turn that on. Let me fix that for you. So you're going to need the two discs. You're going to need the OS X CD, the retail. Um, you can get it offline. Now you're actually going, if you're going to burn it and get it offline, you're going to need the dual layer DVD of it. Um, so I have that. And you're going to need this CD. It's called D620 SLV1. And I'll have the link in the description. So what you're going to do is you're going to turn it on and press F8, uh, I think it is. Or, okay, we'll, we'll start this again. You need to turn it on and keep pressing F2. So, keep pressing F2. Move the CDs out of the way. Okay, so now we're entering the setup, and I will turn the exposure back. So now that's done. You're going to go down to where is it? System. At the top, it should actually be selected. Boot sequence. Press enter. And make sure your CD drive is set to boot first. So that will get rid of a lot of confusion. So now you can go ahead and if you, if you set it and you had to change it, you can save it. But I already have it set up, so I'll just turn it off. Now you're going to take the driver CD that we got offline and you're going to put that inside of the CD drive. So let me grab that real quick. Sorry, you gotta put the CDs on here. So you're gonna take the driver CD and you're gonna put it inside and close it. Now turn it on. And I actually already have it Mac installed, so. We'll let it boot up. It's gonna take a second because it's like, oh, okay, I gotta read the CD. Hold on a second. So it's like, mm -hmm. I actually recorded this video in reverse. I actually showed the ending. I recorded the ending and now I'm doing the beginning. It's kind of weird, but you know, that's how it works. <coughs> Alrighty, so now you're gonna get this little flashing thing right here. It's gonna load some crap. Now it's going to stop and stop this little spinny thing. So it's going to do some more crack. And now you're going to get this. So what you're going to do, once this comes up, you can eject the CD. Now eject the CD and put the Leopard CD in. Your retail Leopard CD, put that in. Wipe that off real quick. Put that in. So put it in and wait for it to start spinning. Give it a second. Okay, now if that is spinning, you're going to press F5, and if that doesn't work, press F10. Now you're going to get this air real quick here while it leaves the CD. Okay, and well, and now that you press F5, you should get the um, Mac OS X install DVD. Press enter, and you'll get that, and you'll miss it. Now this does only work with the retail DVD, so yeah. You're gonna get that, and then you're going to get the Apple logo, and then in a second you get the loading thing down there, and now it's booting up from the CD. So I'll be right back after that boots up. Yay! Now if you already have Windows installed. It is going to erase it, which is going to suck, but you have to erase it to do this. Um, there is a way you can put Mac and Windows on it. I may make a future video on that, but I only have a 60 gig hard drive in here. I'm going to upgrade it soon, so it's really no point for me to, um, you know, put both of it on there because I really have barely have any room on both of the operating systems.
Okay, so you're going to get that black screen real quick, and then you're going to get a blue screen, and you're going to get this install setup thing. Let me crank this exposure down real quick. There we go. So you're going to get this MacOS 10 setup, so it's going to select, yes, select your English, or not, yes, select your English, yep, select your English, okay. Select your language, click next, which is the little arrow thing. Um, it's gonna load and you're going to get this, give it a second, and your bar should come up at the top. So, once you've done that, you need to go to Utilities, Disk Utility, let that set up, and then it's gonna grab your hard drive, it's gonna think, and just be like, okay, uh huh, yep, get your hard drives, yep. So now you're gonna click, you may already have like this little hard drive down here, you're gonna click this big one up top, and then you're gonna click Erase. And you're gonna, for format, you're gonna do Mac OS Extended Journal. It has to be journaled. And then for the name, you can name it whatever you want. I name mine Macintosh HD, just because you know how I roll. So once you've done that, uh, it should be done. You can click X, and this will come back up. So now you'll click Continue, and you'll accept to the EULA. And after it should show your hard drive right here. So you're going to click on your hard drive and then click install. And you will be installing. Now actually this install took takes between an hour and an hour and a half. Sometimes two depending. Um, it is a while. It will sit there and say a half an hour left but it was longer. So um, yeah. I will be right back after it's done. So, see ya. Okay guys, so once your installation is done of the OS X, it should say successful, and then you can click restart now. And then you're going to get the BIOS, and it's just going to sit there and blank. Now don't worry, it's still going to work. You're going to take your driver's CD that you downloaded. Oopsies, my bad. You're going to take your driver CD that you downloaded, and you're going to put it inside. So, I'm going to open up my drive. Put that inside. Now I'm going to restart the computer. And then it should automatically boot from the CD. Just like the first time you did it, you should get the little stuff scrolling through right here, right here real quick. Okay, so now you're going to select the Apple Macintosh HD, so click enter. You're going to get the wonderful Apple logo. You can probably hear me reading the CD. So now you're going to get this blue blue screen, now a gray screen, and you're going to see your mouse right there. And then, black screen, and the magic will happen. There we go. So now that that's done, you're going to get this right here. And I say welcome! Yay! It's installed! Almost. So now that that's done, you're going to just select your country. So, I live in the United States. United States again. Um, if you actually have a Mac already and you're putting it on this, you can use Time Machine and back it up, which I don't have a Mac. So, yeah. So now we can connect your Wi-Fi, so I'm going to type in my password here, maybe, you will have to click. Okay, so now I'll click next, or continue, or say configuring your computer. 
now you gotta enter your Apple ID. So now you may already have one if you have an iTunes account or something like that. So I just signed into my iTunes one. Let me do that to quick. Okay, and then we'll click next or continue. I'm sorry, I'm used to Windows. So now you can type in all of your information, and it actually should already come up if you have an iTunes account. It will automatically have it just for the billing addresses and stuff. Um, if it says you're missing some con content, just click continue. You'll be okay. So now you're going to type in the stuff for your actual computer. So my account name, I'm going to want to be Alex. I will type in my password. Confirm my password. And then type a hint, which I am not going to use. So. Oh, so if it does ask you, it's going to be like, no, you need a hint. Da -da -da -da. Just click next again, and you'll be okay. So now it's connecting to Apple and syncing all of your stuff. And then you're going to get this. Now you can try mobile meet. I'm not going to try it right now. It's a 60 day free trial. But just click I don't want to try mobile meet. And click continue. I'll select your time zone. And then you're done. So you can click OK and or go. And you'll get the pretty wallpaper. And there's the bar and there is the dock. So now once you're done, you're not done yet. You make sure your driver CD is in still inside of the computer. Um, you're going to get this keyboard assistant set up, which is OK. So you're going to click continue. Now on the left side of your keyboard, hit the button which is right next to shift, which is Z for me. So you're going to click Z. And then the same thing on the opposite side, which is question mark. And then it should figure out what computer you have and you click done. So now that that's done, go to your driver's CD. It should be on the desktop here. You're going to click right here. It says postinstall.command. Double click on that. It's going to come up and ask you to type in your password. Now, this kind of tricked me for a second because it says password and there's a gray box there. And when you type, it doesn't show up anything, but it's still typing your password. So let me type that in. And then enter. And it comes up. So it says, would you like to install Basic Chameleon, which you're going to want to do. So you're going to press 1, enter, and it's going to ask you what type of graphics chip you have. Now I have the Intel GMA 950 graphics chip. You may have the NVIDIA one. So I'm going to type 1 for Intel and enter. So now it's loading it up, setting it all up. This is some light housekeeping. Now it says configuration complete and log out. So now you are done. Yay. So now what I do after I'm done is I will just complete, I'll take out the CD here. And now if you press the CD eject button and it doesn't come out, no problem. Right click on the CD and click eject. And give it a second. And it will pop out. So take it out. and give it a restart. And, well guys, that's about it for me. So thanks for watching, please subscribe, and go to my website, www.lmug1.tk. So thanks for watching guys, see you later, and goodbye.